Good morning, everybody. It's August 13th uh, here in North Carolina, and I believe it's rained. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick video about mums. Now, I am no mum expert. This is a mum that I've been babying uh, since last year. I bought it last fall, and it was small. I paid a dollar for it. So I've been feeding it. Uh, I had put it in one pot, and I thought it was going to be fine. It got bigger, and looks like that one's kind of broke. I had to cut it back because it got really tall. Uh, I cut it back in June. It says, uh, I've watched a lot of mum videos. You cannot cut them past June. It's because they were going to flower early on me. So I didn't want it to flower then. And I already have some that are starting to bud out. But this is one. I can't wait to see it. Uh, I don't want to trim it no more. But anyway, that's one I had to repot. I potted it in the spring and it outgrew its container and I had to pot it again. So what I do, where I live, there's a lot of oak trees. So I always put some leaves in the bottom and then I like to put a little kitchen scraps if I have it. You don't have to because I compost in place, but at least some leaves in the bottom and that feeds the mum. And then I give it a little bit of organic fertilizer uh, or either some uh, worm castings or peat moss. Uh, you got to put something like that in your containers because most container p plants need a lot of food because they can't get it from the ground. So I feed them heavy and they really have grown. Uh, now some of these, and the sun's starting to come back, come up behind me. I propagated these off the mother plants and some of them were starting to look kind of cute some of them are kind of not looking so good so I propagated a lot and I get some more now this one these are separate plants I have not this looks like one plant these are separate plants that I've got to get planted I propagated those those are looking great these because it's getting later in the season and it's hot and I water but those are not doing so good uh, now this one I have some nasturtiums beside it because I have, have no place to put it and this one was a small one from last year as well I just wanted to show you now the, this one is starting to come out and it's August so it, it's going to bloom early on me but I had cut all these back I cut them half back uh, that's another one that I have and uh, bear with me I got two more in my garden I have because there's a lot of shade where I live here with my fiance, so there's I have to kind of put everything where the sun is. And then again, this is another one that I had potted in the spring. I had to repot it and cut it back. So there's another one. So I have them a different place. And all these were just small plants last year. Now this is my baby. And this one grew gigantic last year. Uh, I babied it all spring and it's a beautiful orange mum and it's already getting big um, it's getting really full unfortunately it had a little accident in the back and that's okay I, I'm not going to be distressed about it and it, it's it's a little wop-sided it's, it's growing uh, kind of fuller on one side and not as full on the other side and I don't know if that's because of the light but anyway I just wanted to tell you if you buy mum small and then plant them in a pot or plant them in the ground and then they will come back because they're perennial but then you have to cut them back about j before June because they get kind of lanky and then you have another mum in the fall and then you don't have to buy it and you're still going to be tempted to buy mums and I'm going to still be tempted to buy mums but I wanted to show you this and I can't wait to show you when they're blooming out but I hope you like and subscribe and share thank you